normal. What was weird was the game in Coral Gables a couple of months ago. It feels normal coming back here. He felt it was normal coming back in here during shoot around. So we'll okay. see. He really struggled in that first game. Perhaps a sense of normalcy for him gets him shooting the basketball better here this afternoon. Jameer Watkins with the first two points in style. From beyond the three point arc and all the great shooting fresh first years in the ACC, he's at the tops as far as accuracy. We're not in Charlottesville. They're freshmen. <laughs> has won 11 of the last 12 games. I'm not sure you can count that a robbery until both teams start doing some winning. Uh-oh. Cam Corrin above the rim. He has been brilliant with his play in the last three or four games. 25 points against Pittsburgh. Not sure if any of them were as emphatic as these two. And that is what each of these coaches value more so than any Final Fours or any records on the basketball court. Yeah, Coach Hamilton was talking about that again today as Corrin has his second slam of the day. A lot of different scenarios as far as seeding is concerned. Still to be determined in ACC tournament action as Wooga Poplar is able to use the reverse layup for the deuce. You know his first name? You know Wooga's first name? You know, it's, I'm sure at some point I did, but I don't any longer. Nicene. Oh, okay. I remember, I remember that. Apparently only his mom calls him Nicene, of course, when she's not happy with him. Paul Bowen with the three-pointer. Simply because he's got some type of paperwork that applies to his theory. Ooh. Contact down the shot. Matthew Cleveland continues to play inspired basketball in his return to Tallahassee. He leads all scores with 10. Well, he absolutely has to. When you come into an environment like this after leaving for what you thought was going to be greener passers, you better show up as Taylor Ball Bowen comes up with the offensive rebound. The game down in Coral Gables, but came up with four steals in that game. He is so active when he's out on the floor. Yeah. And to the actual question, as we see Jalen Worley. Long rebound tracked down by Watkins. Spears. Down the lane, and he banks it in. That's I thought he had way too much speed off, off the window. But it's been one-sided. Yeah, and it's not just in basketball. Oh, beautiful setup. Cam Corn above the rim to throw down the feed from Primo Spears. It was a perfect three for three, but that was not a dunk attempt. A little tougher on that one. Well, he's gotten great looks. It's a now an offensive rebound opportunity for Norchad O'Meara, who flushes it home. Look at how much damage he does to this rim. He's shown off that touch from beyond the arc. I believe that's what helps him be able to play that small ball five and even some four at the next level. Well, the Seminoles just keep firing away from outside. Green with another three-pointer. And he has taken advantage of it. Well, he has scored the last six points in the game to open up a six-point Florida State lead. Keyshawn George with the terrific feed, and there's the bounce of Poplar, but he comes down hobbling once again. Bensley Joseph back outside to O'Meara. Here's Wooga Poplar. Driving around Ganey, able to lay it in again, attacking a big out on the perimeter. Now the rebound for O'Meara, trying to get that rebound average back into double figures. Here goes Wooga to the left hand, little Philly right there, and he'll limp back up floor again. As well as Paul Joe Bay back out there for Coach Larinaga. And just like that, Paul Joe Bay gets into the act. Spears off the shot fake, able to score over Cleveland. Went to West Town School, which happens to be an hour drive from Philadelphia. Just but outside we, of Philly. <laughs> we won't talk about Oh, wait a minute. There we go. He had the ball. Career high. Against the Florida State Seminoles. Cam Reddit. Oh, it's too easy. I gave you way too many hits. Who's the other kid out of West, uh, West Town School in the NBA? Omir on the reverse. He saw Baba Miller coming and got away from him for the layup. Yeah, Norchad Omir is a problem when he catches the basketball on the block, especially when you've got a smaller guy defending him. You got to get help there as soon as possible, and the help did not get there soon enough. Up to the rim and thrown down the fourth dunk of the game. Off the glass, but Jalen Worley with a nice find to Camp Corn. Last five games, he's been averaging about 15 points per, including a career high his last time out against Pittsburgh. Cleveland with a big shot for the Hurricanes. Cleveland left it short. 
And the ACC leader in double doubles with his 16th rebound and the throwdown. <laughs> She's smooth. <laughs> Cleveland. Tough He's got bucket. a chance for a three point play. That is a tough bucket. Why I feel like the Seminoles would have a better chance of winning the tournament based upon the fact that they won't have to play four games as Bensley Joseph keeps it. Uh, hey, why not? There are a lot of rules for officials that you know I know about. Hawkins. Uh -oh. Hawkins recognizing there's no one back there to stop him. And for Florida State, it's more important not to foul and give them extra opportunities and stop the clock. There goes Joseph going to work again for two more. In your regular season finale. Thorpe puts it up. I give him credit for trying. Absolutely.